Welcome back to Nightly Nonsense, where we make some sense out of the nonsense. But on this whole devoted kick, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the breaking of the bread, the last thing, prayer. Happy, happy non-Halloween day. That's today. Or, or yesterday. Today is the day after. Non-Halloween day. Today is the 1st of November. Right? Uh, listen, how we fellowship together is important. Could have done a whole thing on that about Halloween and what you're choosing to be devoted to. It could have been a huge, humongous thing, right? But we devote ourselves to the fellowship. We develop, devote ourselves to the breaking of bread, to eating with people, right? But we also devote ourselves to prayer. I, I, want, I want to challenge you with something that I've been challenged with lately. Uh, was brought to my attention that spend a lot of time talking about people, right? It's a nice way of saying probably borderline, if not way over the line, gossip, right? We, we spend a lot of time talking about people. A lot of times we do it and we don't even know. We're trying to tell a story and we mention names and we just, like we, we it's not always intentional that we're trying to gossip or that we're trying to tell people about stuff. Sometimes it is. But I've been challenged lately with this concept of if you're going to talk about people, also be willing to pray. Actually have been in moments where somebody has stopped and said, we got to stop right now. We just need to pray for this person. Right. So, again, understand that that's the same thing, whether or not you're talking about your favorite football player or whether you're talking about your favorite teacher whether you're talking about your favorite pastor, whether you're talking about your favorite friend, whether you're talking about your favorite child, whatever it is, right? Do you stop and do you pray? Are you devoted to praying? Not just for the things you want, but are you devoted to praying for the things of God? That which God brings uh, to mind. I, twice now in the last couple of days, somebody has come up to me and talked about somebody being put on their mind that is way out there in left field. Somebody that they have no access to, somebody that they have no ability to reach, some, somebody that like it would take an act of God to make a connect. And God has told them, pray for this person. Right? These stories aren't uh, abnormal. These stories happen all the time. People who say, hey, would you pray for this person? And God says, hey, pray for this person. We don't know why. We don't know what's going on. But all of a sudden, we're like, we're praying for this person. Being devoted to prayer means you're devoted to the things of God. You're devoted to God's plan and God's purpose, his kingdom, the bigger picture, right? So again, sometimes God brings people to our minds, not so we can talk about them, but so we can pray for them. So that we can actually literally be for people, Right? Do you think God said through Jesus, pray for your enemies, right? Pray for your enemies. So while you're standing there telling the story of your enemy, while you're standing there telling the story to other people about how much you don't like somebody, what they did to you, how they hurt you, all these things, are, are you driven to pray for them? Does the Holy Spirit convict you to a point where you're like, you know what? We need to pray for this person. And I'm trying, trying, not totally successfully, but trying to put that into practice, right? That, that as God brings people to mind, as I'm, I'm finding myself in conversations, like, hey, I understand that this person hurt you. I understand that this, but can we pray for them? Will you join with me in praying for this person, right? It puts us in tune with who God is and what God is doing. They devoted themselves to prayer, right? To asking for God's will, thy will, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Are you devoted to that? Are you devoted to praying for what God has planned for you? What God has planned for his kingdom? Right? Chew on that. We're going to see you next time right here. Nightly Nonsense.